Hey everyone, today's lecture is going to be super interesting as we dive into the world of scaling discrete time signals. Scaling can be done in two ways. One is what amplitude scaling, another one is what time scaling. But in this lecture, we will be focusing on amplitude scaling. Clear? Fine. So, amplitude scaling is represented by the equation y of n is equal to a into x of n, where a is what? A constant. Clear? So, to achieve amplitude scaling, we simply multiply the value of every signal sample by the constant a. Okay? So, we can achieve amplitude scaling by multiplying the value of every signal sample by the constant a clear so if a is greater than 1 then it's called amplification and if a is less than 1 then it is called attenuation right so as the name suggests amplitude scaling rescales the amplitude of the signal let's understand this better with the help of one example right fine so i have the signal x of n right x of n so if you see at n is equal to 1 the value is what 2 at n is equal to 0 the value is 1 at n is equal to minus 1 the value is what 2 now what i want to do is the amplitude scaling so y of n is equal to what 2 into x of n this is the expression for amplitude scaling, right? So, what you have to do, simply, we can achieve amplitude scaling by multiplying the value of every signal sample by the constant a. So, here, the constant a is equal to what? 2, right? So, you have to multiply every signal sample by 2 into 2, this into 2, this into 2. Clear? So, this is the graphical representation for y of n is equal to 2 into x of n. So, at n is equal to 1, the amplitude of the signal will become what? 4. 2 into 2, 4. Okay. At n is equal to 0, it will become 1 into 2. So, 2. At n is equal to minus 1, it will become 2 into 2. That is 4. Okay. So, this is what the meaning of amplitude scaling. So that's all for amplitude scaling. In the next lecture, we will be discussing time scaling, right? So one more thing, this signal is called as what? Amplitude, amplitude scaled signal, amplitude scaled signal of x of n, right? Hope this much is clear to you. Nothing is there in this concept. Fine. So if you have any doubts, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.